Hi, I'm Nick from Arca Studios. Welcome to the third video in this Getting Started with Festoon series. In this video, I'd like to show you one of Festoon's coolest features, the mirror. This feature is available in Festoon and Festoon Pro editions. With the mirror, you can set a region of your screen, and Festoon will wrap it onto the virtual dome in real time. This addresses one of the key challenges of working within the full dome medium, which is not being able to see what your work looks like on a dome while you're working on it. I'd like to show you an example using Blender, although this will work in any app that can produce a dome master. You can see that I've added a fisheye camera to the scene and set this panel to render using the Cycles engine. Over in Festoon, I click the mirror button and now I can see Blender. I have a few options to play with, but the most important are the select monitor dropdown and the bounding box for the mirror. I've made sure that my viewport is set to media panel rather than VR view, which allows me to set the bounding box using this blue widget here. Once I've lined this up with my dome master, I can view my scene from within the virtual dome. Pretty cool. This gives me accurate visual feedback on what I'm doing while I'm doing it. By looking around, it's much easier to see if something is working or not. For instance, Suzanne could probably do with being a bit smaller. Using the mirror is particularly useful for animatics and early scene layout. And that's it! Have fun using the mirror! Check out the next video where I'll be talking about customising the dome. See you there!